Crime doesn't pay, so they say. But hush money is hardly a crime for those who would make a dollar out of a dime. Yes, Michael Cohen committed tax fraud and bank fraud. But convicted crimes for Cohen might not be crimes for President Trump. Today, as you heard, Michael Cohen pled guilty to eight felony charges. Five of those dealt with tax evasion for the years 2012 through 2016, in which he failed to report approximately $4.1 million in reported income. In addition, Mr. Cohen pled guilty to two campaign finance charges, one for causing an unlawful corporate contribution and a second one for personally making an excessive personal contribution, both for the purpose of influencing the 2016 election. Sounds mighty serious to me. But, you know, experts say you can't indict a sitting president. Now, Cohen may have a lot to talk about, but as his Jewish family urged, he needs to come clean. I mean, for his own sins. Michael Cohen, who? My personal lawyer? The president trying to downplay his relationship with the man known in New York circles as his longtime fixer, who was seen walking down Manhattan streets today, briefly chatting with reporters and a few supporters, telling them he's going for a long walk. Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings joins me, the top Democrat on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, joining me now. Congressman, great to see you. I understand that you want to talk to Michael Cohen. You want him to testify. Yes, I do. And I want him to do it sooner rather than later. I, Andre, I think that the American people deserve to hear M Michael Cohen. I mean, he's just accused the president of the United States of crimes. So. He did not. This was Cohen's actual plea bargaining chip. Quote, in coordination with and at the direction of a candidate for a federal office, I participated in this conduct for the principal purpose of influencing the election." Unquote. Cohen pleaded guilty to eight charges in order to get a reduced sentence for tax fraud, bank fraud, and election law violations. But of the two charges getting all the hype, Trump may escape. I'm talking about the seventh and eighth counts that cites Cohen's payments to Karen McDougal and Stormy Daniels as excessive contributions to Trump's election campaign. Is it called making a plea just to cut a deal? If somebody's going to give, spend five years like Michael Cohen or 10 years or 15 years in jail because of a taxi cab industry, because he defrauded some bank, uh, the last two were the tiny ones. You know, campaign violations are considered not a big deal, mm -hmm. frankly. Uh, but if somebody defrauded a bank and he's going to get 10 years in jail or 20 years in jail, but if you can say something bad about Donald Trump and you'll go down to two years or three years, which is the deal he made, in all fairness to him, most people are going to do that. And I've seen it many times. I've had many friends involved in this stuff. It's called flipping, and it almost ought to be illegal. You get 10 years in jail, but if you say bad things about somebody, in other words, make up stories if you don't know, make up stories, they just make up lies. Alan Dershowitz said, compose, right? They make up lies. I've seen it many times. They make up things, and now they go from 10 years to they're a national hero. They have a statue erected in their honor. It's not, it's not a fair thing, but uh, that's why he did it. He made a very good deal. The fixers in his own fix, charged with a felony, carrying a five-year sentence. Michael Cohen, tell me about your relationship with him. Well, he was a lawyer for me for uh, one of many. I, you know, they, they always say the lawyer, and then they like to add the fixer. Well, I don't know if there's a fixer. By the way, he pled to two counts that aren't a crime which nobody understands. Uh, I watched a number of shows. Sometimes you get some pretty good information by watching shows. Those two counts aren't even a crime. They weren't campaign finance. It was hush money paid to shut the mouths of two women who, according to Rudy Giuliani, could hurt Melania, Trump's wife. Nothing illegal about paying off strumpets. The rich and famous are often targets of freebooters. And that's where hush money with non-disclosure provisos kick in. Daniels and McDougal are not national heroes. They're simply looking to make a quick buck. 
kick the criminals where it hurts, Mr. Prez. If you look at Hillary Clinton's person, uh, you take a look at the people that worked for Hillary Clinton. I mean, look at the crimes that Clinton did with the emails, and she deletes 33,000 emails after she gets a subpoena from Congress, and, and this Justice Department does nothing about it? And all of the other crimes that they've done. The guilty go free, and the innocent get punished. We all have our crosses to bear, and Trump has his. Cohen's guilty plea may not be one of them. What's the missing link in Cohen's plea? A deal with the devil is what every man should plead.